It's a Sega! <laughs> the shit? Alright, well, they already get points for the most creative team logo. G mate, huh? Alright! What's up, guys? This is Highwire Farvalos in the woods, and welcome to Sage 2016! I almost said 13. That would have been very wrong. This is Sonic Project Survival. I don't know. I don't know jack shit about this game. I don't, I don't know anything. That's fine. Apparently, I read something the G Made Engine, which is also being shown off here as well. I might. I'm gonna mess around with that at some point. Let's. What are our options? A Windows 8 mode. Excuse me. 400 by 224? That is not what the resolution is. It is 500 by 280, good sir. That is, that is just wrong. It is incorrect. Press press button for, for action. For interact. For, for pause. And that's it? Oh, check that out. I can play with my gamepad. So the buttons I assigned for action and interact now do nothing. That's great. In fact, it is the pause button that allowed me to navigate through the menu. Ooh! This music's fun. Let's get this going. Oh, we're off to a really nice start, visually at least. The, I don't know how much this stupid recording size is actually going to mess up the pixel art, but it looks absolutely gorgeous. Really colorful, really nicely detailed, very consistent in its style. I mean, that tree is... that is gorgeous! Yeah, there we go. The, uh, the Sonic sprites are custom, too. I don't know if that was just, like, a shading over... Either way, it was... It's an overall happened here. Overhaul, excuse me. It really helps it differentiate itself from the competition. I like the little environment touches, like, just butterflies and birds flying around, minding their own business. It's nice. Helps it helps the environment feel a little bit more alive. Oh, now we're just fucking surfing. All right. Well, this is cool. Nice. Damn. What else is this game gonna throw at me then? I like the I like the theming going on here too, with the UI and the triangles and shit. Overall, this game is a very good presentation. Riverside Park, welcome. All right, music's much more chill this time. Or wait, what? Wait, what? Is this like a? Wait, is, is this a? We can. We can talk, talk, talk to. We can talk to nipples in in ch in Chala Sunday. Robotnik's up to no good. Wish he were surprised about that. Won't he ever learn? Run off and beat him like you always do. Okay. Ah. Uh, so that was like an act one thing, right? Well, where's? Where's Zack 2? Okay, here's here's Tail. That's that's a weird spot to spot us. <laughs> right in the middle. Sonic, am I glad to see you? See Robotnik heading here? I don't know. It brings him here, whatever it is, it can't be good. Cool. This is kind of an interesting Okay, wait, so there's Act we already did that. We we did okay, so apparently we can go 
down. Not a fan of the signs, but much rather prefer more intuitive level design. I like I like using I like this idea of using level gimmicks and like a hub world. That's neat. Oh, Amy. Don't worry about silly old Eggy. I know you could take him down. Just in case I'll crack that egg. Hit my hammer. That's Oh Jesus. Let's go to Act 2! Sorry I don't sound quite into it today, it's just... I just got home from work. Long day. Okay. So... Oh my god! Who put fucking Fanta into the river? Who put Fanta in the river? <laughs> Jesus, okay. We got, we got Raging Rapids here. Hey now. Ah, shit. I don't want to go down. I want to stay on the high road. So far, I'm doing quite well. Ah. And just like that. <laughs> Now I'm back onto the bottom rung. All right. Excuse me. trees aren't like perfectly straight either like they're slightly off kilter like it just feels more natural ah shit oh my god look all I want to do is go forward ah shit are you fine ah <laughs> uh. I mean, so far this is, it's pretty solid. I mean, it feels like a, it feels like a Sonic game. Um, I'm having a good time. Oh, wait, where am I? Oh, okay. I'm having difficulty because I'm playing badly. Like, really badly. Let's see. Oh my god, dude, <laughs> this platform really needs to chill out. Come on! Oh my d whoa. Jesus fucking Christ. I just want to land on the platform! Come on! Come on! Come fucking hell! Why is it so fast? I can't do this. I can't. I. I Fuck. Okay. Jesus hell. Slow your platforms down. Oh, cool. Okay, so if we don't actually land on the on the log, we slide on our asses. Okay. That's a nice attention to detail. And we oh we can still jump. Oh man. Okay. Just go with the flow I give. How is this gonna work? Uh, mm. I like that, I suppose. <laughs> God, these rivers are fun! Like a literal roller coaster, I like it. Oh, wait a minute! Oh, check that out! There's like, uh, there's like a... There's a coral reef down there. That's pretty cool! I like the shafts of light. Oh, that's excellent. That makes it... Just that whole thing feel way bigger than it really is. That's excellent. Link is down in the description if you want to check it out. Man, I don't know why you're watching this. This is fun. Okay, then we're back here. I don't. I don't really. I don't know if I really like this. 
that much. So like, so I went to Act Two. Did anything change? Okay, so his his dialogue is the same. How about Tails? Is his dialogue different? His dialogue is exactly the same. Okay, so... Uh, this is this is neat and all, but I'm not sure I really understand the point of it in terms of flow. Because I just, I just mean, like, generally if you have a hub world, you have the hub world in between levels because you have other story stuff happening within that hub world in order to help link different levels together. Uh, so after you go to the level, like, things change, story stuff happens, you get diverted off to the next point in the hub world. Um... And nothing really changes here, so it just kind of really slows down. It, it just puts more things in the way of getting to where the content is. And I'm not sure I'm a real fan of that. Like, if their dialogue changed, or, like, if they were in different places, maybe, or... You know, like, things just changed in the hub world, and I could really see a point to it. But... I'm not, it's not really doing much of anything. And I'm not really a fan of that. But let's see what Act 3 is all about. Oh, it's a knight? I mean, this is reminding me of that, what was it, that fan game? I think it was literally called just like Sonic fan game. It was, uh, it's like that one really gorgeous one made in Unity that kind of just blew everyone's minds. And it kind of had this kind of time progression. I really do like the time progression overall. Each act has its own unique feel to it, which is really cool. And the art direction is really solid. The purple skies with the yellow ground, I mean, it just it works. And the sweet riffs. The music is fantastic in this. <laughs> That's probably about the slowest you could ever go through a corkscrew. Like the, the fireflies. There we go. going on there with my game. Oh, come on. Oh, God. That was... That was scary for a little minute. I... What did I even try to do there? That was... Terrible. Okay, come on. There we go. I give up. I give. I give. <laughs> I just. Don't. A bubble shield? Oh no. We going underwater? There we are. Full cool story. Let's go. Come on. Yeah, surfing again. Ah. Yeah, there's definitely room for replayability here. I mean, there's so many pathways. So many. Alright, let's see if this game has a boss uh, in any other levels. 
If it does, I'm not gonna. If, if it has any other zones past this, I'm not gonna be covering it because we're already at the 15 minute mark. What the fuck is that gross thing? Ew! Ew! Oh god. I mean, that was kind of a neat little moment there, though. I mean, they even had, like, red lighting on Sonic there. What the fuck was that, though? That looks so fucking gross. The blue renegade. Shiro. Oh, Black Ace. Oh, I didn't know if the leave worked on this. Graphics, MTH. Oh! Teapot. Cool. Didn't know you worked on this either. Spacebar. Dude, Spacebar, you did good on this, man. Pretty much everybody did good on this. Chrono CX. So many people worked on the hub world. You need to get more ambitious with your hub worlds, guys. They're not they're not doing much. They are not doing much at all. Yeah, so like I thought this game was actually pretty fun. When you're actually in a level, it's it's pretty it's pretty solid. The hub worlds break things up too much, I think. It, they just don't do anything. So they just kind of get annoying. Um but yeah, link is down in the description, down below. Hey, go play it. Um, yeah. See you next time! I can't, how do I end videos? How do I, ah.